Hello everyone. We will do few more problems in probability. See the next problem. A committee of five is formed by drawing lots from eight boys and six girls. They are forming five for committee of five members from eight boys and six girls. Find the probability that the committee will consist of two boys and three girls. Now this is the given problem. Now total to do the solution to total total number of total number of uh, uh, persons or people whatever is equal to 8 boys plus 6 girls is equal to total 14 14 members now we are forming how many the committee of 5 we are forming committee committee of five members in how many ways we can form a committee of this one total is 14 now we can we can do this one this in 14 c 5 ways from out of 14 members we are forming a 5 members committee we can do this one in 14 c 5 ways therefore total number of elementary events 14 c 5 whatever the given problem of probability first you have to find the denominator from the total from what we are going to select or choosing or forming or drawing whatever n is equal to 14 c 5 now what we have to find find the probability that the committee will consist of two boys and three girls two boys and three girls means how many boys are there total boys are out of eight boys out of eight boys we can select two boys in eight c two ways and girls out of out of uh, how many girls six girls out of six girls we can select how many girls three girls in six c three ways therefore m is equal to numerator m m is equal to 8c2 into 6c3 the given we have to find p of e is equal to m by n we can p of e is equal to m by n 8c2 into 6c3 by 14c5 simplify use the calculator and write down the answer here that is the answer like this we have to do this problem the next one is The next one is in a tossing three coins tossing three coins at a time we are tossing three coins at a time if you toss one coin what is the total number of elementary events two in the same way if you toss two coins what is the total number of elementary events two into two four in the same way uh, if you toss three coins the total number of elementary events is equal to two into two into two is equal to eight you will get tossing three coins at a time find the probability of getting first one is at most one head Second one is at least one head. Third one is exactly two heads. Now, <coughs> tossed, we tossed how many coins? Three coins. Therefore, n, total number of elementary events n is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 8. Now, the sample space s we will write. The sample space S is equal to first head, um, first coin, second coin, third coin. H, H, T, H, T, H, T, T, H, 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 T, over, H, T, H, H, T, T, H, T, 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 H is over, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. T H H H T 
ಹೆಚ್ಟಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಟಿ ಟಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಟಿ 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 ಹೆಚ್ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಟಿ ಟಿ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟಾಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕಾಯಿನ್ ಸೈಮಲ್ಟೇನಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಇಂಟು ಟೂ ಇಂಟು ಟೂ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ now the first one is what is the first one at most at most one head one head at most one head means less than or equal to one head you have to find less than or equal to m is equal to less than what is the meaning of this less than or equal to one head one head or one head how many are there less than or equal to one head less than or equal to one head how many are there here three heads here two heads here two heads we can't count one head we can count uh, one head we can count and one head we can count this one and zero head less than or equal to one means we can count one head as well as t t t means what zero heads zero heads and one head we can count how many are there one two three four m is equal to 4 therefore p of e is equal to m by n that is equal to 4 by 8 that is equal to 1 by 2 at most one head means less than or equal to one head less than or equal to one head how many one heads are there one 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 and zero heads less than or equal to one means zero is also you will get now the second one at least at least one head at least one head means greater than or equal to one you will get what is the meaning of uh, uh, at least one head greater than or equal to one head greater than or equal to one head how many are there we will see greater than um, one head one greater than or equal to one head means either one head or two heads or three heads see how many are there uh, this one three heads two heads two heads huh? this one also you will get one head this one also you will get one head this one also you will get one head two heads this is zero heads so we cannot write this one greater than or equal to one how many are there m is equal to one two three four five six seven m is equal to seven at least one head greater than or equal to one greater than or equal to one means either one head or two heads or three heads m is equal to seven p of e is equal to m by n that is equal to seven by eight that is the answer and third bit third bit is exactly two heads third one is exactly two heads m is equal to exactly two heads how many are there exactly two heads 1 2 1 2 3 only exactly two heads only two heads here one head one head one head two heads m is equal to 3 m is equal to 3 if you count this one 1 2 1 2 3 only 3 therefore p of e is equal to m by n that is equal to 3 by 8 that is the answer now see the next one is the next problem is two dice are rolled by two players 1 and 2 if the player 1 throws 8 then find the probability that the player 2 throws more than 1 more than 1 player 2 more than 1 means more than 8 see if you throw one die total number of elementary events is equal to 6 now we are drawing a, we are drawing a two dice are rolled that's why total number of elements events total total number of elementary events n is equal to 6 into 6 that is equal to 36 what are the 36 events i wrote here detail in detail first day second day first day second day first day second day 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 2 1 2 2 like this all the 36 6 into 6 36 
elementary events these are all 36 elementary events now n denominator we find n is equal to numerator we have to find what is the what is the numerator find the probability that the player 2 throws more than 1 one how, player 1 how many uh, player 1 throws 8 more than 1 means more than 1 means more than 8 more than 8 means that may be 9 or 10 or 11 or 12 how many 9 see 3 6 3 6 9 4 5 4 6 5 5 5 4 5 6 6 3 6 4 6 5 and 6 6 these many are there 3 6 9 4 5 if you add 3 plus 6 9 4 plus 5 9 4 plus 6 10 5 4 9 5 5 10 5 6 10 more than 8 more throws first player throws 8 now what is the probability that the second player throws more than first player means that means he has to um, throw 9 9 means how many are there how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 m is equal to m is equal to 10 therefore p of e is equal to m by n that is equal to 10 by 36 if you simplify you will get the answer like this the next sum two dice are rolled find the probability that the sum of the number thrown is the sum of the number thrown is 9 just like the previous one total hmm, the total number of elementary events events is e n is equal to 6 into x 36 these are the 36 elementary events we have to find m the sum thrown is 9 9 means 4 5 9 4 5 9 5 4 9 after that 3 6 9 6 3 9 3 6 3 6 9 the sum thrown the sum of the number thrown is 9 3 6 9 4 5 9 5 4 9 6 3 9 other than you will get as a 9 anywhere therefore m is equal to 1 2 3 4 therefore p of e is equal to m by n m is equal to 4 n is equal to 36 this is the answer thank you thank you very much